Hey guys, in this video I'll be taking a look on the cubicles newest loop, the max loop system. So guys, before moving on, support by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. So first thing first, max loop system has two types of loop. The max command or silicon based loop and the max fleet or non-Newtonian loop. So what is Newtonian? We'll come back to that later. This loop costs $9 each and $15 if you buy them together. Talking about the packaging, it comes in a sealed 5ml syringes with two green dispensing tip for easy application on the pieces. So before moving on, I'm gonna explain some physics involved in the production of this loop, especially the max fleet. So the max fleet is a non-Newtonian loop, which means the viscosity changes when force is applied, which is against C. Newton's law of viscosity, hence its name non-Newtonian. Other examples of non-Newtonians are the ketchup and honey. With that being said, let's test them out. So here we have a Valk 3M. We start by removing the center pieces and take the whole cube apart by turning the top 45 degrees and then removing the edge piece first. After this step, the whole cube will come out easily. Then use a kitchen towel to remove all the factory loop. So it basically takes around 10 to 15 minutes. Gonna roughly remove the loop about 90% of it. Once you are done, separate the corners and edges. Every time you lube a cube, we start off by lubing the core and then the center pieces and finally the corner and the edge pieces. So here we have the max command. It has a white and glitterish appearance, not sure if it's intentionally made. So we're gonna fix the tip on this syringe and then apply a small amount, just a little bit of it underneath the head of the screw. And then the center pieces right here. Please note to apply a small amount first so that you won't over lube your cube. Next, getting the max fleet. As you can see, it has a greyish dull appearance just like the lubical black. We will apply max fleet to the edges and corners. We will again put some small amount of lube onto the pieces to avoid over lubing. Basically, all the contact areas of the pieces should be lubed. So once that's done, let's break it into this cube so that it spreads evenly throughout the cube. So right after the first turn, the first thing I noticed was it was extremely fast. Unlike all the other loops where it took some time before you can really feel the speed right off the table. I also realized that the cube is much more quieter. During my first few solves, I realized that the speed was little over for me. So I just added some max command to my piece and continued my solve. And guess what? It got so much slower and controllable. The turning was relatively effortless and the feel was much more smoother. So from what the cubicle said, the max command basically slows down the cube whereas the max speed is for some real speed. So conclusion, I think the max loop system is worth the money. It has a distinct feel in which can't be achieved by other loops. So if you are interested, I'll provide a link in the description below for you to purchase. But if your budget is low, then consider before purchasing them because there are much more budget loops out there. So that's all guys, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.